I know it's been a few months, but I apologize. Let's talk about the fact that I had to update the TV. I don't have the high sense anymore. I had to get a Samsung because anybody will tell you Samsung's warranty is a little bit better. Highly advise also wherever you get your TV from, Best Buy, Amazon, get that three-year insurance because I feel like another comment mentioned that they will send a surge to your TV when the warranty is about to expire, so you have to buy a new TV. Here's my service order from the company. This fucking company told me essentially that it was going to cost, and I'm looking at it now, $195 for power supply, $195, because they thought it was a power issue. It was never a power issue. It was a motherboard issue, meaning they had to take, not this TV, but the previous TV, they took it apart only to find out that the motherboard was messed up. It would have cost me the same price of the original TV, which was, I think it was like $840, $850 to replace the motherboard. And then they told me that even though you pay for it, it might happen again. Now, mind you, I've never had this issue with TCL, never had this issue with, you know, Vizio, never had this issue with even Samsung. This is my first ever Samsung TV, by the way. Like it. Uh, the remote control is a little bit weird, but it's solar powered. I'm cool with that. My issue was with Hisense, particularly, I don't know if they just know Black Friday's coming around. I just think that Hisense TVs just because they're affordable and they cost like three to four hundred bucks on Amazon for like Black Friday, just don't do it, yo. I'm gonna tag them because they need to see this shit. They know what they're doing. Though the TV was working completely fine for an entire two years. Once that two year warranty or that limited warranty, like I bought that TV July of 2022, that TV went out August of 2024. Went out actually, I don't even think it was August. The service, yeah, August 29th. August 29th is when the actual thing went out. I'm sorry, August 28th, because they came out the day after. Just avoid high sense, bro. Like, avoid them. I've checked their forms. Nobody answers, because again, the reason why nobody answers because nobody wants to use high sense TVs. Nobody does. But in conclusion, I had to get a Samsung. This is the update to that previous video that she commented on. Yeah. High sense. Don't go and pay a company to go and fix it or try to fix it. They're not going to fix it. That $195 that I could have used towards a new TV went to a company that essentially told me that the motherboard was messed up anyway. So there's nothing they could do. So I ended up with a brick of a TV, 75 inches, that I couldn't use. You need to just...